So here we are with some samples of harmonic warmups by Tish Kramer. You can see that he's got nine different chapters with different warmups in there, different themes. There's Tish right there. And let me show you what I think is so neat about this book. Like most warmups, we start with a very simple melody. We're gonna do the one in gray here. It's called Floating Down in E minor. La, do, mi, do, la. No, 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 no. And then you can start having some fun with this exercise. Listen to this as a canon in two parts where we enter every two bars. Okay. He also says, sing it entering after just one bar. Awesome. So some smaller harmonic intervals to tune. Now stack it in fifths and... Very cool. There's even more. You could stack it in fifths and sing it around at two bar entrances or one bar entrances. So all these neat things develop out, out of one simple warm up. This will be such good exercise for your choir. Let's look at the dissonant scale. C major, we're singing lu, 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 and then just down the scale on long tones, right? But you see, when we go into canon, we're actually gonna get a, some pretty tight intervals coming down. These little arrows mean you may enter at canon points, definitely here, optionally a, a, a third line and a fourth line there. You wanna hear what this one sounds like when it stacks up? I'm referencing some um, recordings that come along with purchase of the book. You get access to these recordings so you can hear each and every one of the exercises. This is a warm-up that's not only good for the voice, but very good for the ears, right? Let me go on. Later in the book, we start doing larger intervals. Here's a sequence with sixth melody that he offers. and it works beautifully in a three-part canon. And then flip it on its head, here's a mirrored version. And yes, you go on to sing the mirrored version in a canon as well. From one to three is a little more homophonic singing, so you would assign bottom, middle, or top notes to various sections of your choir and sing V, 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 V,
I can imagine myself assigning middle notes to the altos. Maybe your sopranos and tenors stay on the top. And of course, the basses would go down there. It would work well for SSA groups or really any voicing you just assign at will. And maybe on a different day or one minute later, we sing a different part of the chord that arrives. Neat way to work on tuning and landing into triads. I'm going to show you one more exercise here. This one is so simple to start with. Do, 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 Everyone works on tuning those and singing it nice and slowly. And then you put it together and you get this very, very cool thing. This is called chord with four notes. And here it is in canon. You see that we've got some endorsements from Kirby Shaw, another from Kim Nazarian of the New York Voices. That is harmonic warm-ups, and I think it's just a wonderful warm-up resources for choirs that are ready to really think about stacking parts and tuning chords. A wonderful resource, harmonic warm-ups.